Hi all, Mess Barn Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today it is uh, Friday the 20th of uh, March. It is my ninth day in isolation now. There is about uh, just over a thousand confirmed cases and some 30 to 40 people in intensive care. But other than that, no deaths have actually been attributed to the virus as they were very <laughs> sick in the first place. Nonetheless, very sad. So behind me here you can see a three-phased 10 kVA isolation transformer, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today we are talking about high voltage transformers. This is the first part of the high voltage transformers that I have available. We will also take a look at some much bigger that could not be on the work table. So let's start up with the most and well known, the microwave oven transformer. This is a 2 kilovolt AC output transformer uh, at 230 volt AC in. Usually these come in a 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 uh, configuration depending on what country you are in. But these are grossly underrated. They are made to work on the brink of saturation. They are made so dirt cheap that if you run this for over 10 minutes it will start melting, smoking and it's done for. But widely available, or at least used to be, as these are being replaced with smaller, lighter, solid-state versions. Now the same goes for these old high-voltage transformers, which are also known as oil burner ignition transformers, or OBIT. These are rated for 10 kilo kilovolt AC, at this one is for uh, 23 milliamp. And I have a bigger one over here that is rated for... 25 milliamp. But once again, what is uh, known widely about these uh, transformers here is they are only made for intermittent service only, which we can also see written on the plate here. Midpoint grounded. Um, so, yeah, not really that useful for anything other than to play with, but for serious continuous use, you would have to wind some more primary windings on these, or, or else you are limited to some short runs. When we stay with the microwave oven transformer, I have this incredibly nice big C-core, which comes from an industrial microwave, microwave oven. You can see it's rated for 2370 volt AC secondary output at 1900 VA. And this is not constructed too small. This can take continuous use at 2 kilowatt. So that's a really nice transformer. Here we have a famous Italian transformer, FART. The FART neon sign transformers. Very nice transformers because the ground fault protection that you often see in uh, neon sign transformers. And which makes them difficult to re to reuse for continuous short circuit um, can just be taken out of these. But we can see it's rated for 9 kilovolt at 60 milliamps. So a good sturdy unit sitting in a recent block here. Very hard to, uh, to destroy unless you hit the resonance point when using it in a resonant LC circuit. Now we get over to the big baby here. This is one of three potential transformers that I have. These are used as measurement transformers. In the 10 kilovolt net, we can see the primary side on this is 10 kilovolt and it outputs 380 volt. That also means that you can put in 400 volt AC on the secondary side and you get 10 kilovolt out on the primary side. And that's even rated for 600 VA. So a good 600 watt of continuous power. And just look at the sheer size of this. You can abuse this way over that power rating before this starts to heat up. If we start at the bottom here, we have a X-ray transformer from a General Electric. If it can focus here. There you can see it's from uh, August 1988. 
has the large well-known um, X-ray connectors here for anode and cathode. And if we go to the other side of it, we have the uh, primary P1 and P2 connections here for the driver. And it has some uh, different uh, measurement uh, points here for the voltage and the current of the high voltage. Now this is a iron core transformer, usually driven by SCRs, large SCRs, pucks, and uh, probably only driven on some 400 to 800 hertz. So these are not really that useful and I'm just keeping it as a novelty. I'm not really planning on doing anything with this. Maybe do some, uh, just for the fun of it, a pulsed operation at higher voltages and just see how much it can be abused before it arcs over internally. Now on top of it is a, another kind of high voltage transformer because while it does say danger high voltage, it is only specified for 240 volt AC in and out and insulation 60 kilovolt DC. Well that's because this is a one kilowatt isolation transformer that can do up to 60 kilovolt DC difference between input and output. Very nice if I need to power something inside a high voltage elevated circuit. The last high voltage transformer I have is this ferrite cord X-ray transformer. It is uh, rated for 70 kilovolt, has its two uh, primary coil uh, connections to the uh, transformer inside here. The secondary outputs again are these standard X-ray receptacles. Ah, it has sucked itself through uh, onto there. It has the same uh, measurement connections as the other one. That uh, here in the middle we can see we have the two B and C connections, and it also has the milliamp ref connections and a bridge over here where you can actually insert a analog meter when you are testing this to measure the midpoint grounded current that flows through the two sides as this is internally made up of two parts um, at plus 35 kilovolt and minus 35 kilovolt.